What is up, Postal Besties? It is your girl Creole Barbie with USPS Vlogs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Creole Barbie. What I do here on my channel is I make tons of videos pertaining to USPS. I share my absolute journey and experience while working for the Postal Service. You guys, I'm going to get straight into the video. I had to share my journey as working as a Tour 2 letter automation clerk. For those of you who may not know, I just recently was awarded a bid on tour two after five years your girl is finally off of tour three am i excited i definitely am however i must share right now my pros and my cons on what i like versus what i dislike while working on this tour now i'm already three days in this actual tour so therefore i'm going to give you guys the breakdown on certain things that i like and certain things that i don't like so i'm going to start with my likes first because i feel like that's going to be very important important to give you guys a little bit feedback on how I'm feeling currently at the moment. The number one thing that I currently like the most is coming in in the morning. I love the daytime hours. I love getting in and getting out and that's something that I always wanted to do when working there and I finally got the chance to do so. So that's my first thing that I like when working on tour two. Now the second thing I like is that I'm not being hassled or pressed to get out any dish dispatches what i mean by that is that typically tour two starts like this i come in my supervisor tell me what machine i'll be assigned to once i find out the machine i'm assigned to i then go there with my partner that's another thing that i like which will be my third thing is that i have a permanent partner me and my permanent partner we go to the machine that our supervisor tell us to go to now the good thing about it is we're running outgoing mail only on d so we're getting the mail prepared for the route so when tour three come they can actually go ahead and get the dispatches going and get the dispatches out for the day that's something that i enjoy doing we do that up until it's time to go to lunch now one thing about working outgoing is that it's constantly moving so you're throwing your mail up on the ledge and you're just going every two hours you switch so i start off at seven o'clock when we get there I start the first round when working on the outgoing mail. So I'll do that for two hours. When I come back from my first break, my partner will then take over and she begins to work for two hours on that same exact mail. After those two hours, we then go on lunch. When we come back from lunch, what will be noon, y'all follow me on this one then we're split up and we're placed to another machine to actually start the dispatches for the day so that's something that i enjoy is getting the dispatches started that's my fourth pick when something that i like when working at tour two because it's up to you on how you're gonna help the next person on tour three now i'm a fair person i've been on both sides of the fence meaning i know how it feels when you come in and nothing is done you are overwhelmed because nine times out of ten if you're working on tour three it's not that many people at my facility on tour three and letter automation at the current moment so you're working by yourself and the last thing you want to do is be bombarded with a whole lot of mail press for time and you have supervisors jumping down your back about getting this mail out at a certain time you don't want to go through that it brings a lot of stress so when i am helping to prepare the dispatch and starting the first half of the dispatch i'm making sure i get all that mail in for that individual it's a benefit because when you're actively working the time is flying by at that time all i have is three and a half hours left until it's time to go home therefore i don't mind keeping myself busy i'm getting everything ready for them i'm training the machine up i'm making sure that i put in their second pass labels i'm making sure i put in their holdout trays with labels so everything is organized so when they come in there's no question about what is going on at that machine and who was there they'll just walk in look at it and they'll understand exactly where they pick up at next so i like to get everything in to allow them to be on second pass when they get there because if we work as a team with tours it helps move the mail get customers their mail on time and it also saves the headache of 
having the mail delayed or pressed for time and things like that. Those are things that we don't want and I don't mind by actively helping another tour get to where they need to be and that's something that I enjoy doing. So those are the things that I actually like. Now I'm going to go for things that I dislike at the moment. So one of the things I dislike is top number one is that when I was on tour three I did not have to work any holidays. However when you go to a different tour such as tour two you're going to be around people that's been there for some decades. I mean decades on top of decades meaning that little five little measly year that I had when I was in automation on tour three it no longer hold any weight when it comes to to not being drafted for the holidays on tour two with low seniority such as me on tour two i have to work i don't really mind it because i get up at three o'clock however it is a bummer to know that you do have to work that holiday and you might not want to stay out too late on the fourth and get too turned because i have to come back in early that following morning so that's one dislike second thing I can say that I dislike is the fact that we don't have a sign machines on tour three we had a sign machine so every day I knew exactly where I was going even though I was lacking on a partner it helps just get you where you need to be and also I like to set up my I like to set up my machine area a certain kind of way I like to lay my little sanitizers out my fans and things like that but when you don't know what machine you're gonna go to day by day it's kind of it's kind of hard when toting certain things around the facility so therefore i just keep everything in my locker at this moment because i am not assigned a machine and nobody on tour two is assigned machines the third thing that i dislike is the fact that i no longer get that night shift differential y'all know that extra money y'all get when y'all work after six o'clock so when i come in literally I get no night differential because night differential start from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So your girl won't be getting no extra coins. That's something to keep in mind you guys when coming on tour two is no more night diffs. Another thing that I dislike would be my fourth reason is I feel like when it comes to the overtime Tour 3 was always hitting on overtime. We got overtime a lot on Tour 3. Literally, it seemed like it was always something that needed to be done. So therefore, they were calling those 10 hours, sometimes 11 and a half hours. Since I've been on Tour 2, there's only one time they call overtime. And that was actually amended. So they called overtime on a Sunday, which I actually like because I'm now getting Sunday premium which is really good it's really good because it helps out so it makes up for me not getting those night differentials anymore however i still would like to be able to rack up on the overtime and hopefully with the election coming up this year you guys hopefully i'm gonna be pouring down with more overtime okay so that's something that i dislike now the last thing that i feel like is a con for me will be when you come in to work and if tour three had a hard day meaning they couldn't get their dispatches out and when tour one come in they have to help out tour three get their dispatches out so now they behind so when you come in on tour two you have to then pick up where tour one left off and help get the dispatches out it could be for me, I'm on the fence about it. I don't mind it, but then I do dislike it because it is a lot. Depending on how many people they put on that machine to help get that mail off. Now, if it's just you and another person and it's a lot of mail like it was on Sunday and when we come in on Monday and you're being slammed with all that mail trying to get it off of your machine, that could be a lot because for one, it's like you're going to clean up somebody else's mess and i don't know about y'all but some people don't keep the machines up properly or they don't do the necessary steps so when you come to a machine they may have missing labels that needs to be in the trays you may not sweep it over all the way so you have to sweep it over it just depends on who you going behind and i don't like going behind people especially in letter automation because everybody may not have been trained the same and everybody 
don't hold the same value or worth ethic when performing their job task and that can be challenging you can walk in and be like what the heck i just got here and stuff is everywhere so that's something that i dislike is going behind people i like the fact that i'm able to set up for tour three because i know how i work therefore everything is set up properly for them to be able to get their mail out at a decent time without being stressed or pressed for time however that's just what it is y'all i hope you guys like this video of my pros and cons on what i like and dislike while working on tour 2 letter automation you guys in my next video i'm going to talk about letter automation as a whole because a lot of people ask these questions is working at the plant hard is working at the plant a good job how do you maintain working at the plant how are you efficient when working in letter automation and also breaking down some of the myths of that we just standing in front of a machine processing letters it's way more to it than what people see so i'm here to break down the importance of letter automation and how it is properly ran so therefore y'all that will be on another video that's coming up later on today thank you guys for watching my channel as always i love you guys if you hadn't done so already please subscribe to my channel to stay more connected with me and future content that i have in the future thank you guys for watching as always i love you all be blessed and i'm out deuces Oh, I'm